for a virtual cup of tea. So now, friends, we join Rotary. We wish to know more about Rotary in our zeal and how best we can play our role in Rotary. But once having joined, how often we really seriously try to know more. Sorry, this sounds like a lecture on Rotary. This is not the intention. Let me clarify it right at the outset. This is not a Rotary Patishala as suggested by Amit. Let's cut, out, cut it out and talk about ourselves. The Rotary is the person that form the organization. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank the you. Rotary is okay, the no persons that form Rotary. the organization. We are not interested in putting more Rotarians into the organizations, we want to put it the other way about, we want to put more Rotary in the people all around, either within Rotary or outside the formal club membership. We st we'll start our fireside meet now. What's a fireside meeting? Most of the urbanites who have born and grown up in Bombay would not know the intimacy of a fireside. But sometime or other, we would have been to our place of birth or we were to the rural side or the north where during winter, the day is short, nights are long and pleasant chillness hovering around. We light up a cheerful fire, sit around the fire, imagine having a cup of tea, chatting over with some small snacks, dining and talking more intimately about ourselves. We come closer in such meetings we develop a bondage. We become friends in the real sense. Fellowship is formed. Like when cozy friends chat over a cup of tea. It's on several occasions. It's in one-to-one -one chat with each of us. And the chat with each one of us to all of us. It's a very informal occasion. And I again reiterate, it's not a partiala or a lectureship where one is going to mentor the other. My fireship, uh, fireside meeting, in fact, was in a scenic valley of Malshej Ghats, where we were having a polio corrective surgery camps during one of our club projects. A senior Rotarian who became my very close friend later was my mentor. I mean, Mr. Shankar. He is right now available with us, and you had the good fortune of hearing from you as well. Friends, the fireside meeting at that time was so effective, I did not even know that I was being mentored without my knowing it, for me getting imbibed into the Rotary spirit. I still vividly recall, though it was, uh, how much about, say, more than 20 years earlier, our stroll along the Malshej Guards when the sun was just rising with the chill wind wafting through and all the time Rotary was being injected into me without my knowing about it. You will also, I'm sure, remember about this pleasant fireside meeting sometime. Talking of friendship and cozy fellowship and chats, etc., the origin and purpose of Rotary. What is the purpose of Rotary? It was not service as it is being talked about now. Rotary was formed to have fellowship, fellowship, and fellowship. And what are the reasons that the clubs sprang up? Whose idea was that? To discuss this, we should discuss about our father, Rotary, father of Rotary, Paul Harris. Paul, when he was just a child of three years, had to leave the parents and spend the, the, his life in the company of his grandparents in this small township in Vermont. The child used to go for walks with his grandfather, where he used to observe his grandfather being cheered and greeted by almost every resident of the town. And he used to be equally amiable with the residents of the town. He was admiring his grandfather for the camaraderie and fellowship. The seeds of Rotary were sown when Paul Harris was just a child of five or six years. Later, Paul Harris moved over for his law, practice, law graduation and he started practice in Chicago sometime in 1896. The practice continued. It improved. Once, 
in 1900 when he was having a dinner with a fellow advocate called bob frank who had invited him to come over after dinner they were having a stroll bob frank was an extrovert they were strolling on the streets of chicago after dinner he noted that frank was very popular he was visiting almost shop to shop chatting up with each shopkeeper and with a flash he remembered his childhood days when he was spending his morning stroll holding the fingers of his grandpa he also felt the acute pangs of the need of fellowship and friendship he realized that persons like him in chicago a town would be longing for such fellowship because they would feel lonely coming out from villages where there were sons of farmers and hailing from families which had close knit friendship then he decided he will do something about it the seeds started germinating and it was on 23rd february in 1905 it was a thursday guruvar ko hum bahut mangal mante hain on that 23rd february evening in 1905 paul iris gathered three of his friends one gustavus layer he was a mining engineer another called shil he was a coal dealer and the third one was hiram a merchant tailor note right here the diversity of vocation like the bouquet of fragrant flowers he gathered people of various different professions because the chat in the company becomes more interesting when people share their experiences in their different profession or vocation and it uh, brings the fellowship closer from that small meeting in 1905 rotary has grown into a worldwide organization now with 1.2 million rotarians all over the rotary is present in almost all the countries it is about it's in about 200 countries and geographic regions as of now it's everywhere even in russia china iran afghanistan it has cut across the iron curtains and berlin walls in fact it was in 1927 that our first rotary club was in germany when a similar club was in india also i'll come to that later the idea is not to bore you with statistics and other things of rotary that you can at any time access in your guru google guru where you find rotary.org you get any information we need not have a lecture on that suffice it to say we have more than 33 clubs all over the world right now official india has more than 3000 with 1.2 million rotarians all over the world with around 1.25 lakhs members in india we have some famous rotarians like john fitzgerald kennedy bill gates margaret thatcher armstrong and in india our own revered president abul kalam bapu rajendra prasad the list is infinite i'll in fact uh, introduce at this stage our friend mr shankar who i told you was my mentor he will be talking more about rotary and its international size shankar yeah thank you thank you sundaram he calls me a mentor but you know he overtook <laughs> he overtook me and he became a, a more uh, you know more active in the uh, district thank you sundaram so you know uh, sundaram was covering about the founder now talking about malshed god malshed god has got lot of significance uh, to rotary club of mumbai ghat kokar uh, that is number one number two is that i just want to i i would request you know at this point of time uh, rotarian mantri to display the rotary club of racing the founders cup picture mantri can you display that picture for rotary club of yeah this one
the next one. The next and the Rotary Club of Racing, you know. Okay. Sorry for this. Can you are you able to do it? Yeah, yeah. Adam? That 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 that. that. Yeah, this is a picture. This is the picture taken at Paul Harris Club. This is the this was the first club, Rotary Club of Racing, in in the state of Wisconsin, where I happened to visit on a family exchange program. And this is where Paul Harris and those three guys, all four of them, met, and it is called the Founders Club. This is just for your information. Now. Talking about you know uh, this uh, uh, about Marshall Guard, uh, which I was mentioning, it has got a lot of significance. You know, Sundaram was uh, got uh, Sundaram got to know about Rotary uh, at Marshall sure. Guard, uh, but the most yeah. Should I stop sharing or anything? Yeah, 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 yeah. You you can leave that picture. It's over. So. Talking about this Malshed Guard, there's a great significance in the sense uh, we all went for a picnic, you know, late 1994, 1993, with our past Rotarian Mahesh Parekh. We all know about Rotarian, the legend of our club, Rotarian Dr. Mahesh Parekh. He, he, you know, he's fondly called Mahesh, Mahesh Bhai, and he's very fond of medical projects. So, we all went for a picnic. Can I have the display of uh, Mahesh Parikh, Rota uh, pa past hotel in Mahesh Parikh? So we all went to uh, for a monsoon picnic, and it was raining. And while we were on the mountain top, it was raining, and suddenly we could see about ten or fifteen children, you know, limping, crawling, crawling on the road. I said, "What's ha uh, what's happening here?" Uh, I asked Mahesh Bhai, hey, kya ho hai? you know, they are walking, they are crawling on the road. Don't they have legs and hands? Then we went up to them, all of our Rotarians, 15 of us, we went up to that place and we found them, you know, they were all polio affected kids. We were, we were shocked, we were shell shocked. Almost tears came on us, you know, our, our, we stopped that picnic attitude, came out of our mind and we were we asked those boys, you know, where do you belong to? He said, you know, there's a school nearby. Okay, take us to the school. There we saw 100 more there. All of them, all of them were handicapped, handicapped kids. They were housed there and it was a school of the handicapped. Here we go. This is a great Rotarian who is no more with us. It's, we are unfortunate we don't have with us. He is the pioneer of, you know, all sorts of medical projects. Today at our club, if medical projects are happening, it's because of this great magnanimous, uh, we can call him philanthropist, whatever you want to call him. This great man is responsible for that. Part. So he went, Mahesh Bhai went up to that uh, uh, trustee, the chief trustee, and he said, you know, what's this, you know, why all these uh, uh, kids are here? He said, you know, this is the place, you know, the parents have left because, you know, no way they could take care of. So this is a school for the handicap. Uh, then he said, you know, can we do something to repair them? Because Mayesh boy was already working on that project. So he picked up, you know, uh, two, three boys. And, you know, we, uh, we, we took us along. And we admitted them at uh, Doshi Nursing Home, where our honorary Rotarian doctor, Ajay Thakkar, was there. So he worked on them. In 10, 15 days, you know, their legs were slowly came up to the shape and they, their movement was much, much better then. So that gave us the confidence that all these guys could be repaired. You know, we can, we can really work on them so that they need not have to crawl on the ground. They can walk on their own. And it's called polio corrective surgery. So that's how you know we took up this polio corrective surgery project. This is one of our key projects 
wherein you know we got in contact with rotary international and so on and so forth now uh, talking about the family exchange program can i request manpreet the group of people you know where the photograph is manpreet can you switch to the photograph ah yes you can see you know uh, some of the foreigners there they are rotarians american rotarians they belong to chicago and uh, wisconsin some sound is coming i don't know from the background excuse me some banging sound is coming can you stop that i don't know the background sound is coming i don't know so the, this is a this is this is the family exchange program i happen to be the family exchange uh, uh, chairman in the year 2005 and we hosted them you know in our homes three of our rotarians in mumbai and then they invited us and that year happened to be the year of you know centennial year that is 100 years of rotary which was there was a grand gala celebration at uh, chicago downtown we all attended from there you know we went to they took us to uh, wisconsin wisconsin ka gali gali guma ke humko sab bataya so this is one interesting program international program in rotary rotary which you all can think of participating among other international uh, projects where rotarians can participate family exchange is a very interesting program which you should look into now how this polio corrective uh, yeah this this picture can go off now thank you very much so uh, how this uh, polio corrective uh, mega project took shape i just want to say uh, narrate a story a short story how we took forward so it was during the year when yogesh zaveri was uh, uh, was the president and i was the secretary mahesh bhai thought you know we can do a mini polio corrective surgery and we had our own uh, wrote, we had adopted a village called dehri in the district of murbad and we did a small project of polio corrective surgery we stayed, tasted success there so we thought we can go forward with a mega project but how do we go with a mega project because it costs something like 40000 dollars or something like 16 to 20 lakhs we didn't have that kind of money but as fortune would have it for rotary club of ghatkopar uh, during ashok dabi you know, dr ashok dabi's year he was he was the president before i took over as the president in the year 95 so when he was the president and when he was uh, when the meeting was going on one gentleman from us called rotarian nanlal stepped into our club and that brought you know a miracle to our club so rotarian nanlal bhai was asked to speak he spoke shortly like any american very for very very it was short and swift 5 minutes and then he over uh, after the meeting we we met in a hotel and uh, we were discussing you know he said you know we want to associate with your club rotate that's what rotate nanlal said and how can we associate uh is it we are already doing a polio corrective surgery what the hell is polio corrective surgery i don't know anything about i heard of polio vaccines which club is i mean rotary international is into but i have never heard of corrective surgery can you show me some pictures uh, i am staying in such and such a hotel can you come and meet us so me zaveri and himmat lakani uh, fondly call him himmat bhai we three of us you know met him at the hotel next day to mangalal we showed him all the pictures success stories he said these pictures are okay but the americans you know they want you know short and sweet about uh five minutes or 10 minutes video can you show action pictures so we cautiously moved on to the next step so we did a small uh, corrective surgery project we took a, took a video shot and we went to those schools of malshej and you know we made them walk before and after all those pictures were taken so we had a good stuff with us so i went to ranjit studio in at dadar so i i must have spent about you know 
hundred hours midnight because they wouldn't entertain me during the day because that they were they were into hot business with the movies and all that. So they would always call me at eleven o'clock or post midnight. So I for a month, you know, I visited there and made a uh, about fifteen minutes uh, video with act with my voice over, and then. I sent a sample to Rotarian Nanlal. So Rotarian Nanlal, who, who, uh, he he was staying clo uh, staying close to Hollywood. So he used to call me every day at four o'clock in the morning. If it buzzes four o'clock in the morning, it is Nanlal because that was his convenient time. So that was a wake up call. So it was going on back and forth, back and forth. You know, edit this way, edit that way, and then you know, finally we edited. He gave a uh, 20, 20 minutes uh, CD to him. Uh, about uh, 20 of them, you know, I couriered to uh, uh, Nanlal. They showed, and they displayed in 35 uh, clubs in uh, uh, what do you call Los Angeles, and uh, about 20 clubs in ca other part, north of California and south of California. In all, about 45 clubs, you know, they displayed. And on the spot, they collected $48,000. $48,000 was collected just by showing the video picture. And uh, in 20 to 25 clubs, you know, all were in tears when they saw this. Oh, this is a hell that is in India. What's happening? You know, so much of, so much of you know, uh, polio patients, though our, we talk about success of polio and all such things are going on. They were almost in few of the Rotarians almost were shed tears in the, while watching that. So that brought us a good fund, a matching grant uh, with the Rotary International, where you know Rotary Club of five to eight, five to eight zero and our club we got into, and we didn't contribute much. We must have contributed about hundred dollars or less than hundred dollars. But, but before fifteenth of August, we received a check for thirty five thousand dollars. That kind of money, you know, Rotary, <laughs> Rotary Club of God, <laughs> even on those days with a multiple of 45 rupees, we got a huge sum. And we, we planned a 250 polio uh, surgery, polio corrective surgery camp at Ale Fate, Ale Fata at Pune. And it was a grand success. Nanlal came, the district governor of that um, uh, 5280. He also came, and among, among them, you know, six more Rotarians. All of them I know by name. I don't want to bore you with the names. So eight foreigners, you know, came. We housed them. We gave them housing accommodation. They stayed in you know, at my place, Ravi's place, and all that. And three governors attended: two local governors and one governor from uh, that uh, five two eight zero. And it was a grand gala. That was a uh, that was uh, immemorable, you know. It was a, uh, it gave a shot in the arm, and even till today, you know, we are the polio corrective surgeon. Sorry for the long drawn story, but I had to. I couldn't cut short anywhere. I could have gone on and on. So that's that's about the polio corrective surgery. So this is how you know projects, you know, keep coming. And you all guys, you know, must be wondering, you know, today we are all on virtual meeting. Why we meet, you know, every day, every week, or every alternate week? Unless we meet, you know, uh, we cannot uh, conceive projects. So meeting one on one, you know, uh, makes a lot of difference. That's why Rotary meetings are are very important, and you know, that's why you, you need to attend the Rotary meeting. Over to Sundaram. Sundaram, you are unmute. Unmute, unmute, Sundaram. It's really overwhelming to realize and recall those old days. Uh, actually, Mr. Shankar was uh, not mentioning one thing. During those polio corrective surgery camps, you know, we had a genius of a doctor from Andhra Pradesh. He used to conduct surgery on a row basis. That is, we used to have a row of patients arranged in the big hall. He used to just snip, cut, do the correction, and then pass on to the next patient his assistants would cover up the first patient. Like this, believe me friends, he used to conduct 
from 100 to 125 polio corrective surgeries in a day. In a three-day camp, once, he has done about 325 surgeries, something really unbelievable. Now, I was telling you earlier that Rotary started in 1905 in a small room where four friends met. They met by rotation at each place, so the name called Rotary. From that stage, it has come to this mammoth size, touching the lives of humans all over the world. Coming to Rotary in India, in 1920, the first club was formed in Kolkata. And the second one was in 1927, again in Lahore, India, which was 1,000 miles apart. And the first Rotarian member of India was one S.C. Rudra in 1921. About the relevance of Rotary to India, is the Rotary spirit or motto of fellowship and service, is it something new to us? No. Vishwa Bandhuta or Parapakar to hamara karmic or dharmic roop se ek hissa hai. It is a habit in India. Hamare santone ka hai, vriksh kabhu na pal bakhayin, nadi na sanchay neer, parmarat ke karne, karne, sadhun dara sharir. The trees don't eat their fruits. The river doesn't drink its water. They live for others. With this motto and spirit of India, where we have Danvir Karna and donors till date of magnanimous nature. Do we need a Firangi organization from somewhere to be imposed on us called Rotary? Does it have any relevance? Is it not like carrying coal to Newcastle? This is a genuine doubt. Everyone will have, but few will voice it. Since I had the doubt when I joined Rotary, I thought you may also have it. So I started this deliberately. Rotary doesn't intend to challenge or replace our dharmic or karmic principles, but instead it acts and assists as the catalyst in improving it. See, when we were doing parapkar, dhan, dharma, etc., we used to do it with our heart. But Rotary has the charm of adding, adding the skills of the head and hand to it. Rotary, in fact, had a project called 3H Project. 3H standing for hunger, humanity, and health. I used to call it as the project of head, heart, and hand. Whatever generous qualities and quantities we had, it coordinates by putting its head into it organizing in it a systematic manner and then carry it out with systematic labor in a routine maintainable way it makes service activities and whatever projects that we carry on sustainable creative viable and beneficial to all the nature of sustainability, creativity, viability, and benefit to all can take ages and ages if we go about to talking it. And so we just touch it on the fringe in this fireside meeting. Maybe we'll have more occasions when we'll cover it later. And one more important thing in Rotary is, again, I say it is in our Hindu culture. India is rich with its religion and its culture and each and every religion of which diverse though has the innate principle of Rotary imbibed in it long, long ago since ancient times. Rotary creates the mood of service and charity right from the childhood. In child, we saw the interact activities. Rotary has interact clubs and in youth, Rotary promotes their activities through Rotary clubs and adults, young adults and adults have, of course, the Rotary clubs. And we have activities for senior act also. Retired people have senior act clubs and we have parallel clubs which have become equally strong in helping the Rotary movement like inner wheel clubs, etc. We have our Rotary club of Mumbai Ghatkapa equally supported by Inner Club of Mumbai Ghatkapa. It opens our 
Rotary opens our talents, gives us skills, exposes our opportunities. Whatever talents we have, most of us are leaders in our own vocations and prominence. But if we join Rotary, it makes a speaker an orator with a better skill, an artist, a performer. Any skill, name it, that you have, it improves it by manifolds. When you join as a Rotary, do a self-audit yourself. Remember this day when I have sowed this idea into your mind and check after a year when you have completed one year of Rotary life. If you are involved and if you are active, just do the self-audit. Find out how you have improved, whether you have improved, and how far you have marched into Rotary. Then you will know what I mean. The same way as Rotary being a part of, Hindu, part of Hindu Dharma and reinforcing our principles, the four-way test, that is the gospel of Rotary. Four-way test is nothing but reinstating again the principles stated in our scripture, Satyameva Jayate. Our friend Shankar will again dwell on it for you. But before that, I was telling you, that Rotary adds heads and hands into our heart through which we render services. Here, I should tell you that Rotary, while developing right from childhood to adulthood and retired ages and not restricting to sexes, male and female, into Rotary and the inner wheel. In fact, it was very interesting. Rotary, when it started, it started as a total male domain. No female Rotarian was in existence. Years later, as Rotary became mature and people saw the significance of Rotary in the hand, society, Martin. in the society, the female population also said, we want to be part of the Rotary. And rightly, they arose. They rose in ranks and there are several leaders of prominence in Rotary now. We have service activities also specifically divided into well-defined areas. This is where the head comes to discipline the heart and the hand. We have club services focusing on fellowship, club activities, right from starting a meeting, a routine activity, on to various uh, meetings, planning the subject, carrying out the organizations of service, etc. Then we have vocational services wherein we carry projects of self-reliance. Rotary doesn't believe in charity for its sake of charity alone. It believes more in making people self-reliant. It helps people standing on their own legs. The same is the emphasis in community service. See, uh, we used to complain about Christianity when it builds in entry to India. Uh, these people are trying to convert human beings into Christians. How did they start? They used to give food, milk in schools to the children. I was a convent student, I know myself. They used to give you a glass of warm milk to a student when you go to the class, particularly in those early stages when you are in third standard or fourth standard. They used to give food to the hungry. See, even our religious preachers and saints say, bring religions and principle of charity and dharma to the hungry through food, to the sick through medicine, to the needy by fulfilling their needs. Our community service fills this void very effectively. Then international service. Shankar has just given a glimpse of how far Rotary has affected the individual lives and the new generation service. It touches the youth, young adults by Raila. Raila is a Rotary Youth Talents Development and MUNA, Mini UN Assembly and MIPS, I should really tell you, Rotary teaches you how to run a parliament, Mini Indian Parliament. It teaches the young people. They say, don't throw chairs at the well. Conduct the rulership in your meeting in a regulated way. Don't shout slogans in the parliament. Ask questions which are relevant to the country. How to serve the country, those ideas are inculcated and sown right in your childhood and youth, which blossoms into making responsible citizen of the country. It would not be a far-fetched thing to say that Rotary sows the seed for a better citizen and better nation everywhere. 
Now, I was talking to you about the four-way test and it's being the gospel of Rotary. I would request our senior Rotarian, Shankar, again, to talk about the four-way test to you now. Shankar. Uh, uh, Manpreet, can I have the picture of Herbert Taylor holding the four-way test? Manpreet? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. He, 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 he is the founder of four-way test. He is the, his name is Herbert Taylor. You all know the Great Depression that happened, you know, after the First World World War. The globe and the entire globe, you know, sunk sunk into the depression, and many of the countries, you know, could not come out, and there were suicides and hunger and whatnot. And it is at that time, you know, Herbert Taylor. He was into a, he was manufacturing, you know. Uh, as a, what do you call it? He was into printing and envelope manufacturing. He was facing tough competition. I mean, and uh, the company was about to, uh, you know, get insolvent, like, you know, sort of, he, he was thinking of closing down the business. But then, you know, one fine evening, you know, after post the, uh, uh, post the, what do you call the company hours, he called all the staff uh, into his room. And he said, you know, I want to form a policy. It should contain four statements that we, we need to follow those four statements and it should be all true, not, you know, uh, not that we can't follow. So everybody took into the, took it seriously. And that's how, you know, this four-way test was formed. First, it was implemented in his company. He took a loan of 6,100 some, some dollars from the bank that was the last loan and the bank said no more loans you have you stay with these loans and return the money and then we will think about doing business with you that that was the state of herbert taylor then then finally they framed this can i have the four way uh, test uh, manpit please yeah uh, can you enlarge it yeah so Finally, they, after back and forth, back and forth, you know, editing, you know, they came out with this Bhagavad Gita. It's really Bhagavad Gita. See how it starts beautifully. The four-way test of things we think. See, before any action, the first thing comes is think. The thought gets into action. Or the thoughts, then the speech, and then the action. So in that sequence, he says, or the four-way test of things we think. Whenever we think, you first question yourself. Is it the truth? Am I thinking the truth? Am I thinking something which will be fair to all concerned? Am I thinking something which will build goodwill and better friendship? Am I thinking will, whether, and whether it will be beneficial or whatever I am thinking, will it be beneficial to all concerned? Same way, whatever you speak, speak the truth, speak something fair that to all the concerned. So that's how it goes. And even your actions, it should be truthful, it should be fair, it should, should a, a culminate into goodwill and friendship, and it should, of course, be beneficial to all. So does it not sound like Bhagavad Gita? In short, it is a, it's a Bhagavad Gita. And he practiced for five to six years, and he not only got over his uh, 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 the financial problem, he, his, his sales sold, his customers, um, he, his customers, you know, started approaching them and he was flourishing in business and he became a sort of the association president. So that's it. through the straightful and straight process, you know, he could achieve things. So we say, no, this guy was straight, upfront and, you know, he could achieve things. This is one thing, you know, we need to learn and it is worth keeping this, you know, in our working place. I, I tell you, it will give you a lot of inspiration. That is all about the four waiters. Now, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Manpreet. You can take away that. So, uh, can I proceed, uh, Sundaram, with one more, uh, something about polio on... Uh, not polio uh, I... I think, Shankar, we will keep it for a later session because we will have to touch on various subjects. Two minutes, Here, I'll, I'll, one minute okay. I'll take. Go ahead. Go See, ahead. We are, you know we are, yeah. 
we are talking about covid when uh, uh, how how we know we are uh, uh, we are anxious to have you know vaccine so that you know we can end with this pandemic covid right so that was the time you know in, in the year 1985 this polio polio used to affect most of the kids in the uh, uh, tropical countries it was not affecting the cold countries because the polio uh, polio virus cannot get into the uh, cannot thrive in the 5 degrees and 4 degrees and single digit degrees so it was all happening in the tropical region asia and countries like pakistan india and afghanistan and all such places where heat is there but so many kids were becoming crippled and this rotary and the main station you know the the what do you call it is stationed at you know us it thinks about you know the uh, what do you call sufferings of the develop uh, developing countries and you know immediately you know when the uh, pick uh, when the video was put screen they collected you know 25 to uh, uh, 250000 dollars in one single meeting and they went on in few months you know they collected 120 million dollars and then you know it went on to 250 million dollars and by the year 2000 you know 600 million dollars were spent in in i mean they had an arrangement with the world health organization the who and then today thank rotary we don't have a single case of polio that, that's an, that that is amazing you can imagine you know just put our minds back you know and that they didn't have a vaccine they funded for the vaccine and the vaccine came out and not only they they saw to it you know the vaccine goes in poor chill condition or whatever the cold chain to every nook and corner every every region where it is not reachable and those guys used to come all the way to afghanistan and balochistan and what not so this is a success story of uh, uh, rotary see the, the the point i want to uh, hit upon is that though the rotarians majority of the rotarians who funded were not affected it is the japanese it is the um, uh, english and the us who contributed the most but they were not at all their kids were not at all affected by uh, polio yet they opened their heart and they collected as i as 600 million dollars about 25 years ago that is what rotary is thank you sundar thank you shakti that is a very comprehensive coverage now friends we are talking about the head heart and hand of rotary i'll go back to that again with the head rotary thought okay motto of service is noble but how do we keep it sustainable because rotary want to keep its activities sustained to have lasting benefits it needs the bloodline and as you know the bloodline is money in any form call it rupees yen ruble or dollar with this idea the rotary fund was started see great people live even after their death paul harris the father of rotary is alive today in our memories and in the memories of million because of the rotary movement and to keep this geared and alive was the architect of the rotary fund named arch clump he was born in cleveland he was younger to paul harris by one year and he survived paul harris by four more years he was born in 1869 and uh, passed away in 1951 one need not be rich to donate or serve it is the idea that matters you will get the message when i tell you about ashklum he was from a very poor family even for his education he had to trek 4 miles to the nearest school every day and this hard and education also he was forced to give up at the age of 14 when your career of education hardly begins he had to give up his education to support his family for living he joined a lumber company when he was a 14 we'll call it a child labor now by the shint of dint of hard work he became the sole 
owner of that company by 1912 he started the rotary fund that is called uh, rotary endowment fund at the time of its origin in 1917 it started with a noble contribution of can you believe it 26 dollars 50 cents at that year even at the current age it is less than 2000 rupees now it started like that and a major contribution was received later of 500 dollars once and then a contribution of 5000 dollars was received it was after the passing away of paul harris in 1947 that people realized the effect of this rotary fund and started flooding the fund with money and the first project of rotary do you know what it was it was on the lines of what our pradhan mantri started here in india on swachhata abhiyan the first public toilet in chicago chicago that was the project under the rotary at that time from that small contribution a seed of the 26.5 dollars the rotary fund has swelled over to more than 3.5 billion in its percentage with 1.4 million polaris fellows all around the world you may note i told you the total membership of a rotary was 1.2 million whereas the paul harris fellows are 1.4 million approximately this tells you how even people outside the wings of rotary were influenced by the greatness of rotary sincerity of rotarians the service in the effective way that rotary is carried out today my friends the rotary fund rotary fund that is the rotary fund is ranked as the third largest trust transparent nature in the whole world in 2016 it was given this award it it has spent more than 4 billion us dollars in life changing sustainable projects worldwide including the one on polio corrective surgery that shankar is talking about it now the rotary fund topic itself is an ocean and we are already uh nearing the end so we wouldn't touch the subject though we thought of covering it earlier see to sum up i'll tell you as rotarians as human beings we learn from everywhere around us from nature from animals etc i never used to stop annotating about the penguins which i used to tell frequently in my early meetings see somewhere around the north pole there were the horde of penguins living penguins you know they believe in equality the female penguin lays the eggs and then it tosses the egg to the male penguin who catches it for his life between his legs and then warms up the egg in between his legs waddling along the ice for almost a week then the egg hatches and the penguin chicks rest in the nest their life is a real jolly good life they sleep sleep and sleep and whenever they are hungry they wake up and squawk loudly then plop drops a fish to its mouth it chews and eats the fish and then goes to sleep again for about 3 weeks every day this is the routine it sleeps wakes up cries for food fish drops into its mouth and then it sleeps again after 3 weeks one day the chick wakes up cries squawk once waits for the fish nothing drops in its mouth it is shocked it squawks louder no food yet that it's worried it wakes up it finds no mother no father in the nest what it hears is a lot of squawk outside its nest also it is worried and perplexed now it comes out waddles on the snow only to find hundreds and hundreds of other penguin chicks looking for the fathers looking for the food by instinct they march north towards towards the vast expanse of ice on the cliff they go to the edge what they see is oh there's a big valley 800 feet drops where they see 
fresh water flowing now somehow the instinct not confined to humans alone even the birds have their instinct they feel that the food is down below in the flowing water hunger overtakes fear a chick jumps down all the other chicks are panicking they are sure that they twin will have dropped dead slowly they creep to the edge of the cliff and what do they look they look the chick peeping sheepishly outside the water with a big fish in its mouth now they realize oh our livelihood is down there in the stream a couple of more daring chicks fall into the river the others dare not they walk down the slope from 800 feet to 600 a few more take the courage to drop in they are rewarded with food others keep walking down down and down some jump at 200 feet some at 100 feet some come up to the river bed they don't dare jump into the river once they are in the river bed many of them bravely jump into the river find their fish and go a couple of penguins are there on the banks afraid to get into the river like the first learners to swim then there's a big splash of water flowing on the bank and sweeping them also into the stream now there are no more penguins left all are there in the stream of river happily and merrily enjoying their food now what do these penguins have to do with our rotary in rotary we i you and everyone included when we started the rotary were like those timid penguin chicks looking for our food the daring penguins like our dr mahesh parik shankar was telling jump right from the cliff into the heights they find their food in fact two more words of dr mahesh parik he was a businessman he was having a textile industry in his nobility he started to serve he thought that business was interfering with his service and he left his business the means of sustenance and plunged into service wholeheartedly he has been the torch for us in the club he has done great on this venerable location when we are chatting over the fire fire side like paul harris to rotary dr mahesh parekh to rcmc our club now he jumped right from the height and started the service and many more daring rotarians like shankar ravi so many rotarians who may hold in highest regard plunged at 700 600 feet but the timid chicks like me and maybe a few of you oh. were waiting at the banks of the river still but then we were overwhelmed by the flood of the water which also dragged us into the river we are enjoying the food so my friends do not be over intimidated by a rotary do not be afraid or slack don't even hesitate that you are timid stand by the bank if you cannot take any initiative rotary will take you in its sweep you will be flooded with the rotary you will be full of rotary spirits only request is do not turn your face away from rotary once you have joined have some patience find out how rotary influence you throughout your lives it will make i'll i'll tell you it brings you so many leaders close to you you will start rubbing your shoulders with leaders i i'll tell you for instance the senior godrej of godrej family had visited our club without our formally inviting him in my club meeting when i was presented one of these days one gentleman walks in the meeting and takes his seat in the front row our rotarians with great reverence were inviting him seating him in the foremost seat then after the meeting was over i was whispering to my secretary who is this gentleman then my secretary vandana who is a very senior rotarian again was whispering it is senior godrej like this you will rub shoulders with famous personalities great persons not only in status in societies great in their hearts great in their deeds great in the service with this i'll close my side of the fireside session and i am sure by god's grace we will meet again and again and we will share more about rotary and we will join hands in serving the rotary now over to shankar if you have any words amita and mantri we are here thank you see you almost yeah we are almost done you know we can have a q and a
Yeah, yeah. We are we are having a Q&A. Thank you so much. Uh, floor is open for all the new Rotarians. If your voice is echoing, just check if you are in. Uh, new Rotarians or even uh, any Rotarians, if uh, <clears throat> anyone wants to ask anything. Uh, unmute and... Uh... Yeah, please unmute. Well, uh, uh, Manpreet, can I say... Manpreet, can I say a few things? Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. I hope yeah, I am not just... now. No, no, uh, I know that I am not a scheduled speaker. And uh, again, that I don't intend giving any speech anyway. And uh, Sundaram, for all uh, his you know vocabulary, what he has stated, it I can uh, akin to a uh, DG making an address. You know, he is so very uh, uh, committed about his uh, Rotary and what he believes Rotary in. Of course, Shankar is an encyclopedia in Rotary, and these are two stalwarts who can take a fireside meeting to any level, or. Uh, Sundarwar Shankar se ek mera advantage hai, ye to bata do, ki they may not be able to speak Hindi jitna fluently mein baat kar sakta hoon. But you know, off late, Sundarwar jab Hindi mein baat karne lagte hai na, so I start wondering, he may better with me sometime. So, se kaafi kuch sikhne ko mila hai Sundarwar. I remember when we had gone to Katra, and uh, Vaishnav Devi, after the operations were through, we had to trek up uh, to Vaishnav Devi. And uh, you were right beside me. And slowly I could see that I was not able to keep pace with you. Even you were 10 years younger, to uh, elder to me. And the energy what you have, you still have that with you. Keep that spirit. And to the Rotarians, if I want to say uh, Rotary ke to bhoat aapne sun liya ki kya hai Rotary, four-way test kya hai, Arch Club kya hai, Rotary Foundation kya hai. Par mein uh, apni side se ek bhoat selfish baat karna chahunga. Rotary jab join ki maine, to maine ye socha ki kuch to samaj ke liye mein kar paunga. Aur ye platform sab se sahi hai. Bhoat jan kehte hain. Aur ek uh, Rotarian jo mera customer hua karta tha, he dragged me into Rotary. और वहां मैं आने के बाद मैंने जो देखा जो माहौल देखा कि क्या मैं महाराष्ट्र एक अकेला महाराष्ट्र हूं उस वक्त एक दो साउथ इंडियन है जो अभी आपको एड्रेस कर चुके हैं तो बाकी के सब गुजराती हैं इनके साथ कैसे निभेगी यार ये तो बात करते करते गुजराती में बोलने लगते हैं और कुछ तो कच्ची में बोलने लगते हैं तो ये काफी बातें उस वक्त थी पर स्लोली स्लोली आत्मसात हो गया और ये जो अच्छे लोग जो लाइक माइंडेड पीपल उनसे दिल जुड़ गए थे और फिर अच्छा काम करते करते ये ध्यान में आया है कि रोटरी को कुछ देने के लिए मैं आया था कुछ समाज को वापस करने के लिए आया था इस उम्र के उस पायदान पर पर जो आज मैं कह सकता हूँ इतने सालों के बाद 93 में मैंने ज्वाइन किया होगा यस और उसके बाद आज 2000 पे कि मैंने रोटरी से कहीं ज्यादा पाया जो मैंने रोटरी को दिया है तो डेफिनेटली सेल्फ इंप्रूवमेंट कहो डिसिप्लिन कहो मेरे मित्र कहो ये शंकर सुंदर मेरे को कहां मिलते जो आज के दिन में मेरे साथ हैं आप लोगों से भी नई पहचान होगी और आई लुक फॉरवर्ड टू आपसे इंटरेक्ट करूंगा आपके बारे में जानूंगा रोटरी की अच्छी चीजें सुनूंगा अच्छी भी चीजें बताऊंगा और एक दिन ऐसा आएगा कि ये रोटरी क्लब मुंबई घाटको पर एक ऐसा कुआं था जिसमें मैं मेंढक हुआ करता था अपने पेट्रोलियम इंडस्ट्री में उसमें आने के बाद में मैं उससे बाहर आया बाहर की दुनिया देखी बाहर का विश्व देखा और बाहर के कैनवास देखा कि कितना बड़ा है और उसमें मैं कुछ कर पा रहा हूँ उसका अभिमान मुझे आज तक रहा है और इसके बाद भी आई थिंक जितना हो सके रोटरी को मैं अर्पण करता रहूंगा और साथ में मेरे वंदना जुड़ी जब मैं प्रेजिडेंट हुआ और आज देख रहा हूँ बिना इलेबरेटिंग फर्दर शी हैज गॉट रोटरी इन हर सेल्फ टू सच एन एक्सटेंट दैट आई समाइम्स फील कि ये कंपनी का काम कम करती है मेरे साथ पार्टनर होके पर रोटरी का काम ज्यादा करती रहती है बट आई फील सो गुड अबाउट इट सो जेंटमैन दिस इज वॉट रोटरी रोटरी कैन बी वेरी इन्फेक्शियस रोटरी कैन इन्फेक्ट यू बट इन अ गुड वे एंड यू विल फील दैट योर लाइफ इज मच मोर ब्राइटर मच मोर चैलेंजिंग and much more rewarding 
than what it is uh, today. So this was my small uh, assessment of the Rotary, what it is with you. Thanks, Sundaran, for a wonderful letter you made. Thank, Thank you, you Ravi. Thank you so much Thank for the personal experience also. Uh, any questions from new members? I mean, I would love to hear from all of you all. Actually, yeah, Kamlesh, bhai, I can today. see him. Uh, Jatin, bhai, Adilam, Jayashri, Ben. Uh, Radhika, would you like to ask anything? Abhi the club ko jante, jante ke baad mein involved bhi ho jayenge. Let us learn, let us learn something now. It's nice that uh, you know enthusiasm has been. Actually, in India, na ye fireside meeting. We call everybody informally. We sit together. We meet. But in ye COVID sector, me that's not possible. It is normally and. Informal way to get to know each other, to get to know Rotary, to learn from past experiences. So we thought, uh, why not have it online? Everything is online. I would really love to uh, thank all of y'all for uh, giving so much time. Uh, any questions uh, are most welcome. Even uh, later on, also even after the meeting, all of us are available on the. Even any uh, suggestions, uh, you know, uh, there are so many queries that the new members may have. any particular agenda that you want us to touch upon you can you know let us know so that next time we can be prepared with a few things that you really needed to know so please update us jatin bhai i mean you know hello good to see you hi everything is okay now okay i hope you enjoyed Let's, the session yes today. yes very well very well very well everything is fine Thank you so much for joining. Savita, I think uh, you are also around in case if you have anything to ask. Jayashri Ben, uh, you are also here. Hello. Yes. Yeah, Savita. It's very nice to just get to know how this is one of the most significant decisions of my life to be connected with you. Thank you for organizing such a wonderful session. So I'm now very much clear that yes, I'm with the right kind of people, which will really lead me a happy life. I'm sure. I'm sure. Kamlesh Bhai, anything that you need to ask? Welcome, Kamlesh Bhai. You can unmute if you no, want. No, thank you. Very much. Thank you very much. Uh, and also, basically, because I had attended physically the last year orientation also. Yeah, that's true. That's Personally, to attend the orientation session in one of the colleges and uh, being, uh, I, I thank you for organizing such a nice this session. Thank you. Thank you for coming. In. Uh, I think, Madam Vice, uh, we can wind yeah, up. I don't uh, think we there are any questions. Ravi, I think you can have a vote of thanks, please. Radhika ji, are you around? Yes, yeah, she's there. Just a minute, yeah. one minute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah enough yeah. time for us. I especially thank all the new members to show this kind of excitement. You know, it's very nice of you to have joined it because we, that is what keeps us motivating. So we'll definitely try to. Most of them try, but uh, that's pending for next time. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, me and Manpreet have thought of uh, taking up this fireside meeting in the Rotary Singla Garden. So hopefully, very, 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 very soon we should be meeting up there. Sundaram, you'll be there with us virtually. Don't worry. Yeah, Radhika, uh, you will have to unmute yourself. Yeah, thank you so much. I see the new members who attended today. Thank you so much, Past President N Shankar, Past President Sundaram, Past President Ravi, and of course Preet and not to forget most important person who got the meeting together, Amit. Thank you. Thank no, no, you. Manpreet and both have done all the legwork. No worry. <laughs> thank you, so, thank you, Radhika. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank you so much. Insha Allah, fir milenge. Yeah, sure, sure, very soon. So Thanks I think so that's all. For giving the time today, everyone. It was our pleasure. We would love to have you. We would love to interact with you. So we'll be phone or talk. Any rotarian can phone. Karle na. We'll always be there. Any kind of queries, suggestions, 
or any projects that you want to do anything that you want to contribute will be more than happy thank you sundaram ji thank you shankar ji thank you so much ending the session now thank you all yeah bye bye